we're going to set up self-selected groups in Moodle. And the first thing we need to do is create the groups. Once we've created the groups, we also need to set up a tool which allows the students to choose which groups they want to be in. So if we go over to the right here, there is a tab called Users. Click that. And under Users, somewhere in the middle, there's a link called Groups. Click that. And you can see there are already some groups that have been set up. We're just going to ignore those. And we can do various things here. One of them is create an individual group, one at a time. Uh, we're not going to do that. Uh, the one we're interested in is auto create groups. This allows us to do two things. We can create a number of empty groups or we could randomly assign students to groups. Uh, we're going to do the first of those things. But either way, you click auto create groups. And the first decision we have to make is whether we want to label groups by numbers or letters. It defaults to letters. The at symbol will stand for a letter A, B, C, D and so forth. Um, we're going to change that to numbers. We just replace the at symbol with a hash. Now the groups will be labeled group one, group two and so on. We're going to auto create the groups. We could do it by telling Moodle how many groups we want or we could do it by telling Moodle how many people we want each group to have, what the group size is. I'm going to go for the second one. So we change auto create to members per group. We're going to have seven people in each group. So we're going to put the number seven in the next box. Now we can leave everything else as it is. Scroll down where it says allocate members. It defaults to randomly allocating students from the class into the groups. We don't want it to do that because we want them to choose themselves. So we change randomly to no allocation. The next thing we have to do is at the moment it will put seven people in each group. There might be some people left over. It would create a, a little group with the leftover people. Or if we click prevent last small group, it'll force any leftover students to join one group. So you have a, a larger group. Uh, and that's what we're going to select. You could preview if you had random allocation, that would make sense because you'd be able to see which student it had allocated into which group. We're not going to allocate any students, so it's not particularly useful. So I'm going to go straight to the submit button and click that. Oh, one thing I forgot is the grouping. Uh, by default, it uses groupings. We don't want to use groupings. Don't worry about it. We need to change the grouping setting from new grouping to no grouping and then have another go at clicking submit. OK, and you can see it's generated 11 groups. The zero in brackets here is the number of people that have been assigned to each group, which obviously is zero because they need to assign themselves. So we've set up our, our groups. The next thing is to create a tool to allow the students to choose which groups they're going to be in. So we go back to the home page of the module. OK, and want to scroll right to the bottom here. I'm just going to close all my topics. Scroll to the bottom and there's a plus and minus at the bottom. The plus will add a new topic. OK, and by default, it's labeled our topic section 17. We're going to change that and we're going to call this section choose your group. Press return. Maybe we should have a capital G in there. That would be nicer, wouldn't it? Choose your group. And now we need to drag this topic because it's at the bottom higher up. I want it near the top of the, the list. So I'm going to drag them up. OK, and just above the homeworks, I think I'll put it. OK, and we can unfold that topic and then click add an activity or resource. And somewhere in the middle, there's a tool called group choice. Click that. And wants to know what you want to call this tool. I'm just going to call it group choice. And the 
there's nothing particular that we need to change here. You can see the groups here. We need to say which groups are going to be available from this tool. So these are the groups labeled group one through to group 11. Add those groups. And if I click save and return to course, it will allow the students to click on this tool and choose one of these 10 groups. The membership will be limited to seven people. So once a group is complete, uh, it won't accept any more members. Of course, there's going to be one group with uh, a few extra members. So save and return to course. And we're done. Here's the choose your group topic. Here's the group choice tool. I've clicked on it. Uh, you can see the names of all the groups and uh, the number of members. And when people choose a group, their names will be added here on the right hand side. They just click save my choice. If we were wanted to join group one, the student would click this button and click save my choice. That's it. Hope you found this video useful.